Dude, I just busted in his office this morning. The door was closed. I didn't. <clears throat> it was all bad. Now back to Steiny and Guru on ninety five seven. The game. Yeah, songs about me, baby. Back on the top again. Yeah, what's gotten into this dude? Yeah, James Willard. He went to you a saw, concert yeah, last night. You saw night. me when I was down and out. I'm back on topic. Back on the topic. Yeah. Where'd got you a, go last got night? Got a new Van hip. Morrison. Oh, you did. And you okay. know who I met last night? Irish Pat Lawler. I saw that picture. Did you know who it was, Dibs? I did, but I, I felt like his general audience should have been uh, graced with a, a little bit more of a yeah. caption. You are true. It was a horrible caption. Irish Pat Lawler is about 70... 61. Five. Sorry about that, Irish Pat. Please don't turn on me. <laughs> oh, you might be in trouble. I've tipped a few back with Irish Pat, and uh, it's funny because and you guys were talking about this earlier about like size and weight and... You even were mentioning uh, the guy you guys hung out with with Low. Oh with, yeah, uh, oh Chuck Liddell. Chuck, Dude, Chuck Liddell, Willard. and I'm going to say this Whoa. respectfully: he's small but ferocious. Okay, and there you ferocious. go. Ferocious. Yeah. He goes about five seven, one sixty five, but yeah. he is absolute all business. He's like a bear cat. Yeah, there he's you go. Dude, small seriously. and ferocious. He yeah. was. A, I didn't realize that he was a great wrestler. Like that's how he knows Lorenzo Neal. And Lowe told him to go to the USC. Dude, it, it triggers me. When you guys had him on, I was getting PTSD because back in the Jolo and Dibs days, uh, Lowe Neal had this thing that he could tie <laughs> Chuck Liddell's arms both behind his back and he still would absolutely ruin me. Come on, dude. We, I think we did two hours on oh. it one day. <laughs> And Ford Ma was just I you know, delighted. I I'm completely like, believe I'm like, him. no way. Two Wait, that you did two hours back? on it, or that he could but just that can't happen. Falls you would yeah. win. Deals. All of it. That's what I thought. Okay. Like, the more I thought about it, it's like, nope. I mean, well, no. Dude, the leg hold followed by the headbutt, night night. You ever been? You ever been in a fight, Willard? I'm O and O. I've never been in a fight. Um, I'm about five hundred, Will. Yeah, I'm thirteen five I, and two. I'm, like, I'm, like, I, I'm gonna call myself O and O only because the the times that I like. Tell could, the story. This is a great story. Guy, it's it's like, it humbles and who you. Who was it's, the guy, Willard? What's it's his like name? to even call it a fight is disrespectful <laughs> to fights. Like I wouldn't do that to fights. I just I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I punched Kareem Nahas at, at Bowditch Middle School one time. And, uh, it was a cheap shot. I'd had it, yeah. I'd had it up to here. And so um, I, I, I squared, and uh, he wasn't. it wasn't from behind. It wasn't a cheap shot. Okay. But it, it was kind of like, I just don't think he thought like that. Yeah, it was like Draymond DePool. Yeah. And, it and was an escalation sensation. No, but it was, it was when oh, I learned I should never try to punch someone because I tried to punch him, and you I'm like, that's right. not what it's supposed <laughs> to look like. <laughs> that's not how it's supposed to go. Oh, Will. But I think you're thinking of, you You want me to tell the story of when I got popped in my armchair in journalism class. No, by, no, no. That was my the story I wanted. Bro oh, it was. Yeah, the okay. one about Kareem Nahas. Yeah, there was the other time yeah. where, my, where my good buddy Brad Zucker just, like, like he stood over me <laughs> in an armchair <laughs> In uh, in journalism class, I lost. I'm out. And I know that the, like I was trash talking, which is a, super hard for all of you to believe. But I had a mouth on me, and he stood up because he was yoked. He had a high mouth? school kid. Oh, he had had it up to here, go. <laughs> and he stood over me in the armchair, and he's like, "Say it again." And I looked at him. I'm like, <laughs> "What are those?" Ball. Oh. Like, oh, of course I'll say it again. And then he just went spow right there on the bottom of my chin. Ooh, the uppercut. And he man. goes, he goes, "How about now?" How about now? But he didn't and knock I, you down. No, I was in a little... Like, you were shocked, oh, like too, the though. Arm I was shocked. I've been I there. I just looked at him like, what in the hell <laughs> are me. you doing? Chris and Ross. there was a substitute teacher in the class, and she said, that's a detention for you. I said, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm the victim. <laughs> I'm just sitting here. So, of course, I went Iguodala on her and forgot completely about Brad. <laughs> and that is right. up, and that I'm like right. talking out detention. It never went anywhere except for that we had graduated from college. And about eight years later over Thanksgiving, maybe we hadn't graduated. Anyway, whatever. Like seven, eight years later, I get a phone call at my parents' house over Thanksgiving. And it's Brad to apologize. Like, he's still <laughs> ruminating on this. Yeah. I'm like, I haven't even thought about this again, except for when I tell the story on 95.7 The Game during the crossover. Wow, right. But other than that, like, Brad, we're good. We're good. I'm not, like, seeing a therapist or anything. We're okay. <laughs> that was it. Not those are delay, my Those yeah. are my two fights, and both of them never got past the first punch. Yeah.
So I'm yeah. saying you take an L at Montgomery Wards on the YouTube channel. <laughs> wrong, <laughs> wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong. I, I just wrong. had to read it, that's all. Tell the YouTube chat to get it right. It was Mervyn's. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Which it is a way Mervin. better Mervin. story than yeah. Montgomery Wards, oh, man. Some guy rides by on his bike. Shout out Petaluma Plaza. <laughs> and I, I oh just my parked God. my bike. And I'm going to go in and do a little light shopping. Oh. This guy rides by on his bike and kicks out the back tire. And it hits my leg. Oh. So I wait until he rides around the corner, and I say, F you, yeah. <laughs> as loud as I can. Like, you're not going to do that to me. This young man, he's about two years older than me, turns back around on oh, his bike. Oh, boy, reverse. I love Parks this the bike, steps off the bike, and just one piece. <laughs> it's a one piece. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, it's you get the one Tyson, piece. Right Dude, one piece. Your boy is now sprawled on the outdoor mat, oh, 1980. Yeah. And, uh, a face shot, body uh, shot. Face shot. Oh, one dear. time to the face. One and, time. Yeah, exactly. Night, night. Yeah. One yeah. 12-year-old outside. Uh, uh, he gets back on his bike, and he rides away. Uh, your like boy took the L that He's day. one and oh. Wow. Didn't you throw a potato at some people or something like yes. that? That, was, that yeah. was a transgender individual. That okay. didn't, didn't go down as Which a fight. Is, that's not relevant. But uh, you threw they it? threw it at me first. Oh, <laughs> over? Yes. I was just walking on the street outside the uh, Tribune building. So no I, reason. Wow, the town, Jefferson sure. or whatever. No reason. Sure. You didn't say anything. I was listening Did to you music. Give him one of those I didn't on. even strut by. I wasn't doing my limp or my strut. I was just a guy walking, and all of a sudden, pow! In the back of my arm, I'm like, "What the hell?" And I turn around, and no way. This individual's about six four and oh. with a skirt. And you know, five o'clock shadow, <laughs> and they're menacing at me, and I'm like, "What the hell? what?" And then they walk away, and I see that it was a potato that hit me. So I'm thinking, no, no, no. You threw a potato at the wrong guy. So now I pick up the potato, and I roll left to the corner right outside the Tribune building. Sure. This individual was across the street. Did you get him? And walking down. No, I threw no. it. I threw it high. Yeah, you tried, though. Bit outside. It was actually high and left. This led to another two-hour segment on whether or not I could throw a potato 50 yards. Dude, wow. I, I still, like, I always, uh, when I hear russet. stories, I got questions. It was a russet. It was a I got questions. Why? Did you ever find out why? I didn't. Like, why did this person want to throw a potato at you? I don't know. You? They had anger. Where did this person get the potato? This individual had a bag full of sundries. <laughs> we'll say that. There was a miscellaneous. <laughs> A miscellany of items, and I was victimized oh, with God. a potato wow. in in the triceps. <laughs> I got to tell you, the, 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 fat. the YouTube chat's on fire. I don't know why this has me laughing, but oh, Loco Moco says, Zucker don't play. Oh, no, bro, he don't. <laughs> wow. Actually, but, then, and then, <laughs> but then he apologizes eight years later when we're in our 20s. Right. right. No, this is, a, right. this is even a good one. Oh, shoot. Who, somebody said, sounds like Dibley's going to be the Giants' third starter. Oh. Yeah, it could Whoa, be. Yeah. Injuries already. I don't know. But did yeah, you mentioned, yeah. and it, tell me if I'm going too far. I'm not. PTSD. I told Stani and the listeners I have that. Once I came in and found out Wiggins was out tonight due to personal reasons. Right. I'm trying to compartmentalize. Yep. Like, he'll be right back. But why couldn't they just put ankle tweak right. or chest? Fingernail. Like, I'm a, now I'm all nervous after Stani goes, Goo, you think they're past every... I said, you know what? Yeah. So I'm a little... You're not wrong. Okay, I already, thank I already, you, man. Like, I just... the, the news broke and I was driving around with Chrissy earlier today. Hey. And, and what said what I said, she immediately... I'll just, like, I'll be real. She just looks at me and goes, don't, don't, don't do this today. Don't do not. Like, that's not going to sound good. And I'm yeah, like, I get it because I have no... We, the same thing we did last year... We have no right. idea. And it wasn't so, just us. But there's no way around when you see Andrew Wiggins' personal reasons. It conjured something up. We had Sam Amico and I asked him. You're just like all, like, all of a sudden, your body's like, oh, wait. Where is this going? What, is it a one-off? So that's not fair, and I'll admit uh, that. And man. I know nothing, and I'll never know nothing about Andrew Wiggins. I know nothing. Now I need Thursday but to like, be here. Show me Thursday. Zero, I, would, I, that's, I would agree with that. Great like, show. It can it it can only be one game, please. Right? Thursday That's, can't come fast like, enough. Like I didn't, I hadn't even thought about it like goo, but I was thinking after he brought it up. Oh boy, <laughs> yeah, I guess like and just, and if it if it lasts a week, even you, you, you know, boy. you're just getting Paul back. Yeah, who uh, who starts tonight in place of Wiggins? That's a, I, that's I, think that I think it's Clay. I think it's Clay. You think yeah. so? Probably. But with Chris Paul coming back, I but wonder. Want to work on it's that. a very slippery slope because if you if you've already said and Steve has a bunch of times, so Steph, this is now for the time being the plan. 
Right. We are we are acclimating him to a new role. Okay. So what happens if he goes out and scores oh, forty no. we brought as a up? starter and, and and Wiggins does miss two or three or four? Ugh. Right? And and Clay Not goes five. on Clay goes on a heater as a four. starter. Mm. Now, yeah. now does can, he get it back? Can you go back? Yeah. So maybe I don't know, maybe they start somebody else. Moses, I mean, you Mo- go Moses with- Moody. I think that's oh, what yeah, we yeah, brought that yeah, up. I was yeah. like, you know Put what? Modi that's not in a crazy there for a few minutes. No doubt. Sure. What the hell? Sure. I mean, what the hell? It's Washington. What just, the hell? Right. So, I mean, you'd go Steph, Pods, Clay, Draymond, and and Maybe Looney, Looney yeah. maybe. Yeah. He Put said Looney he wants to there? play Looney a little bit. but Is, is Poole starting? No. He's coming off the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Now, he could yeah. get a bone thrown to him, and his coach, I might say, Jordan, we got nine wins. Go ahead and start. Against your, uh, I don't think they're looking to throw him bones. Wow, and I, I, I like. I what think you they're said, looking Steiny, to throw potatoes at him. But, well, they've yeah. had it. Actually, they've yeah. had it up to here. The potato, potato yeah. quietly hurts more than you would think. Mm. When mm. Thrown, no, no, actually, I would not shock. I would think that it would hurt actually, but, uh, especially if it's not cooked. And I can't yeah. throw a potato fifty yards if anybody oh, wants to bet me. You get no a good, doubt. you get a good, good solid potato. russet. Yeah, you could a mid-sized russet, and I did that day. I was adrenalized. How long ago was this? God, it, it was uh, pre Steiny Guru and Dibs, which was a fifty-one week uh, <laughs> adventure. Yeah, yeah, one week shot. We did one week in person. Yeah. We did fifty weeks remote. So I'm talking maybe twenty nineteen, five okay. years back. And then you tested this, and you did throw it fifty. Oh no, yards? I never did. This was one of the classic Jolo and Dibs bets that oh, never yeah. came to fruition. I would bet against it now. Yeah, now it's going to no, be a little well, tougher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Against, the yeah. range anyway, of motion is a little bit more limited. You were saying something. Of Steiny, uh, Just the by. notion of oh. Jordan Poole not being benched, it's nuance, and you're a man of nuance, but I think you're right. It's more of a relegation <laughs> sensation. He's been relegated to being the sixth man. He wasn't classically benched. Jonathan Kaminga, last year in the playoffs, that's being benched. Yeah. When we don't want to play you anymore, Jordan Poole just is no longer starting. So, yeah. but it's that that's not it's not nothing. Right. That's still a thing. It's a thing, but it's not being benched. I, I don't you know. Think, I heard Kawakami you know. uh this morning being like, "Don't don't don't just listen to the press conferences. Clay's not thrilled." Oh, no, Clay doubt doesn't about like it. this. No, there's no doubt. He'll say that he's okay with no it. He doesn't like it. this. Right. And I'm sure Jordan doesn't either. Yeah. And it's for and it, 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 different reasons. Yeah, and he's got to be like, man, I had a good here, you know, in Golden Who, State. Jordan? Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, I mean, I don't. I know. wonder. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder how he looks back I, on. I it mean, if, it it, it appears know. for whatever reason or for all the reasons we do know that like he's he's mentally he's a different. He's person. broken. But I don't. Th- I, it, it to me, it's completely unfair to put all of this like you got punched. And now you're unable to be a professional and be an adult. Like, no, that was not well, okay. fair. But like, he was humiliated. I hear you, but come on, man. That and one that, made and, a- and, and so that's it. He yeah. was punched and humiliated. So now you can't function no. ever again. Well, he even in fun- another city. Well, no. Well, come on, man. You're a product of your Being environment. Adult. They got be, nine wins. I get, adult. But and, I'm and gonna I, tell you why he was a dope. Real quick, the money changed he, him. He never talked about him. the incident, even though it was him on the other end of the losing side. Publicly. He never talked he about it publicly. Never, publicly. So he you got to give him an adult. But even if he was embarrassed, he never went to that level of. Maybe he's been to a therapist 150 times. I mean, you might could be honest. I have no idea. I, I just think oh, that, the worst call in sport. I think that's a crazy. <laughs> I think that's a crazy excuse if that to to put it all on that. Yeah, that's and 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 the wizards like yeah. the word coming out of that organization is that they're all just completely uh, annoyed uh, with him. But I'm I'm not putting all that on Draymond. Like his behavior is awkward. His decisions on the court are terrible. I like that. I don't have much to work with. I'm sorry, but that, the 2022. This is what I I said to. Uh, to the guys on the show today, they don't win a title without him in 2022. Yeah. So I appreciate what Jordan Poole did. And I, Willard, I'm not defending him. I'm just saying after the punch, I don't even think that's Jordan Poole. I don't even think the person named Jordan Poole is Jordan Poole. Well, like the, in today's society with social media, the, I don't think he could either get any worse than what he had to experience. Now, that well, it's sound gotten like a worse. Cop-out. It's gotten worse for him because of the way he's played. And if you yeah. look at basketball, Remember, we thought he was going to average twenty eight points. He is one hundred and forty third out of uh, one hundred and forty three qualified I, players in field goal percentage. I have nothing for you. He wow. is dead effing 
last oh. in field goal percentage. He's behind such names as Clay Thompson and Andrew Wiggins and James Harden. And I, I always look at the list. It's not effective field goal percentage. It's just raw field goal percentage. He's dead last. And so, yeah. Do you think that's the real Jordan Poole? Or am I caping if I say maybe he just never recovered from here? Well, I think it's the real Jordan Poole because you have to be able to recover yeah, from that. Yeah. And it's now been, well, almost it's been 17 months. And so, yes, it was not anything that he did, in my opinion, to deserve that. But at some point, you've got to pick yourself up by the bootstraps yeah. and salvage your career. Well, we're also acting like that was the only life-changing event, and it's nowhere near that. Like, I, I would... I would sub the word punch out for for the word contract. You've never mm. been the same person since the contract. You know what I mean? I, I mean if bet. you even, it, like I, th we found this to be engaging at the time because we all dream of the massive payday. Mm. But when you're celebrating a championship and, and we're going to get the bag oh, oh, and no, I'm going to yeah. get the bag that, and yeah, I'm going to get the bag, right, it's right, like, right. that doesn't feel the same anymore. Now I look back on it and go, man, yeah, you, you got the bag. And then, then that's a wrap. We had a hole in it. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco. Always live on the free Odyssey app. Twitch and YouTube powered by First NorCal Credit Union. Dibs, I gave you some love on it's the time show to today. It's time, it's time for him to move on from the punch if he hasn't And he may have. I hope, and he, may, right, right. he may just not be a very good player when he's not on a good team. Right, man. You know, I mean. The evidence is possible. not on his side. <laughs> We're right. almost, yeah, what, 28, 27 games left. No. Yeah. Uh, they got uh, the Wizards tonight. 11. The number's 11. Yeah. You, and I, I was thinking, you know what? I like the Warriors. I, have I really. don't need this. Then I mm. thought more about it. And I'm like, that's a sniff of a backdoor cover anytime. Any, a nine win team maybe. at home? Maybe. They think they've so won three bad. of the nine at home? They're so bad. I just don't want to be betting Jr. and, and all of a sudden Kuzma's making threes. And, no, I hear you. you know, I hear you. Betting, betting double digits on the road. Yeah, man. Right. You know, and, I, and I'm still recovering from what happened Friday night where I watched an 11 point game <laughs> turn into a 13 point finish the with Hornets? a fight on a 12 and a half point spread. <laughs> I was sitting there, I'm like looking at this going, oh my God. What is happening here? So I'm with you. I, I like I get it. I, I I don't know about tonight, but coming off of a loss, they should win by yeah. thirty. Yeah, you they would say, but they tonight. they play down. The Warriors play down, and sometimes. the Warriors play well, up. The I mean, sometimes, if you look at their game against Detroit, where they had to survive, well, and their game against team. Charlotte, yeah, but also and you you, you, uh, you didn't play very well. But they're so bad in close games. If you actually look at their games this year, when they win, they win by a truckload. It's the close games where right. they struggle. But they've the got spread's a lot 11, of, so I mean, you might win of, this one by 8 or 9. they got a lot of 20-point wins. they got a lot of them. When they, you know what I mean? I know the Detroit game, Like I feel like that was a different squad. You lost to Memphis and G.G. Jackson. They had Jackson. a lead with a minute Same left. Thing. I mean, different it, squad. But if you look at their games against the bottom feeders, there are as many like, whoa, that game was closer than I thought. As there are true blowouts, I yeah, think. You do, I, I would say look at the, the the recent Warriors, the last 15 games, and uh, by and large, they've handled those teams by double digits. Yeah. I'm not by a big large. yeah, I'm not a big guy that oh, they're gonna get up for this game and that game's but how can you lose you know, you're playing well. Okay, then you get beat by the defending champions. Keep it you're moving. still playing well. Yep. I mean you gotta you gotta look at the schedule and say, guys, let's go out and get tonight. It's the Wizards. Right. And we got two out of the next three are tough ones. And we owe Toronto. Like, well, I think you look at this one and you think, guys, this is a uh, this is an R and R game where let's get up by twenty seven and then we can take the fourth quarter off because that right. that to me, if I'm a veteran, I look at this game and I think let's get up eighty five to fifty six with two minutes to go in the third. And then we can all just kind of shut it down, shut it, shut it down. And I thought that would happen Friday, and it looked like it was going that way, and they just right. came roaring back. Well, and Charlotte, Charlotte, they did wave the white flag in that game, and then, With you know, 22 seconds to go. Right, finally. That is, yeah. Yeah. That's but, great. But now with a minute, they pressed. Yeah, and I just look at this four-game road trip, and if you're the Warriors, and Three you have and this one on the front yeah. end, go ahead and handle it early. Get Steph and, and Draymond 28 minutes, and Clay plays 28 minutes. And you get some uh, Quinones 
And I don't know if Gee's on the trip, but darn it, give me some Gee. Yeah. What if Moody starts? Like I'm eager to see the start lineup. Will yeah. shame to say who's uh, who should come out soon. Who's Game that? starts in two hours. Who's that last guy on the roster? Pat Spencer. Yeah. yeah, the ball Patty guy. Patty Spencer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> when yeah. did that happen? I don't know. I, I don't, we, I don't we know. We were in Vegas. Yeah. I'll say this, Dibs. Don't blame it on Vegas. Willard, I'm a guy that thinks everybody <laughs> has a doppelganger. We had somebody text in that uh, White Shadow. That pods reminds oh them God. of salami. And I want to run out the Better comp like, than Steiny is Tom Cruise. I'll say oh, that. No I and I don't, Tell Willard. He must have not yeah, heard it. He I mean, looked no, up no, like Tom Cruise. Tell Willard. No, come on. We got a couple minutes. I was just telling, like, when I 40 years ago, I was in college, and this woman I'll never forget. <laughs> tell her name. Said, I, I don't I actually don't want to say it anymore. Because she's time. a real living yeah, one person. one more time. Lois Lucente. Okay. Yeah, it's a good it's, name. She wanted. Great she wanted. A, she's a doctor now, Doctor Lois. Or something. Oh, okay. That's somebody you meet in Mexico on a and trip. She, or something uh, like that. Senior anyway, trip. I was with my buddy Joe Fenlon. She's like, you want to come up to this party on the third floor? And and uh, Joe's like, sure. And uh, like, you know, Matt wants to come too. And I heard her say to him, "No, he's ugly." <laughs> so scarred him, Will. Fast Willis. forward. Yeah. He said this about wow. three times. Fast on this forward show. forty Lucente. years ago to this to this yeah. weekend. Here we go to this weekend. I'm looking for a place called The Cooler in San Leandro. I can't find it. I'm walking around. These two women come. It's obviously a mother and daughter, 50, 25, Listen something like this. that. I said, excuse me, I'm looking for a place called The Cooler. The daughter goes, has anybody ever told you you look like Tom Cruise? Oh, boy. Be careful to say it was the daughter who said that. that. No, mom. Way. No, well, she's like 25. But I, you know, I, I, I wasn't about that. It was wow. just. But he feels good. I don't Are you I sure said, you know she what? didn't Full mean circle. Terry Cruz? I don't care. <laughs> Full circle. In your face, <laughs> Lois Lucente. In your three. Oh, hey, three? Look at the you smile. can barely contain oh. yourself. No, it's great. Yeah. I look like the janitor in Scrubs. I've heard that a million times. It's an the actor with the last name of Flynn. Has anyone ever actually been mistaken for a celeb? Like somebody, not you look like, but like somebody thought. Yes. Who? Eric Stoltz in Mask. <laughs> Dude, not Rocky Dennis. That's oh, yes. wow. oh, Rocky don't Dennis. say that. That's I had Rocky red hair. Dennis. It's a fact. Oh, when I had my red it's hair. It's a great movie. Yeah. A great movie. Yeah. I really like that, that was a great movie. He had movie. bad skin. Though. Actually, no, yeah, a lot of hair. Back yeah. in my day, when I had a lot of red hair, oh I would God. get a lot of Eric Stoltz <laughs> oh, with the red, with the uh, flying red that's hair. That's one of those things that feels like it was a thousand years ago. Mask? Yes. It probably was 94. Percentage audience wow. knows what we're talking about. Yeah. How about 16? Seven? Yeah. But the that room enjoyed like it. Sometimes I work for the room. Sam yeah. Elliott, I believe, in that movie. And also. I've got Denzel all the time. Uh, 25 years oh, old God. all the time. All right. And now Tracy Morgan. But <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's my favorite. No, no, no. no. Fine, please, not not Tracy. you look that like, dude's like somebody who was so sure that they came up and they were like, Tracy? I would no. I was Senor Denzel on my honeymoon in Cabo, and my wife was getting mad. But they just Senor Denzel. Senor what they Denzel. And I had the Mississippi masala fit on with the linen, and the wife was like, "Y'all disrespected me." And I looked like, "Oh boy, they really think your boy might be somebody." Yeah, that's good. Anyway, memories. Good. All right, gents. So a uh, little truncation <laughs> sensation today. Wow, you guys are right right yeah. seven yeah. again. We'll yeah. catch you here tomorrow, yeah. same time, oh, and, and same place. And yeah, quick maybe. tease, quick tease. Uh, Brandon Crawford was in my dream last night. There you go on 95.7 The Game.